Well, it's the 2nd of April, and I'm still chopping ice. Definitely still winter here. Down below zero Fahrenheit most nights. And uh, up into the teens by daytime. So we still have all of our winter snow and it's not going anywhere in a hurry. According to my records, this garden patch here, I was actually out rototilling it in, uh, I think it was 2012. Nice black soil, dry enough to till, and I think a few days later I planted potatoes here. But uh, yeah, it's a little dry on the surface now, but that's freeze drying. It's uh, quite solid frost all the way down, several feet I would guess. And where it's not covered in snow. So yeah, we're a little behind the times here as far as uh, spring progress goes, but Anyway, have patience. Well, here is the latest addition to the Roosty 6. Oh, that's heavy. Roosty 6 uh, Restoration Garage. Roosty 6 is rusty junk. Anyway, we'll get these pieces put together here in a minute and uh, maybe you'll have a better idea of what it is. All the pieces of the jigsaw. Hopefully I won't need an operator's manual to assemble this. Due to the uh, somewhat crowded conditions in this workshop, I may have to assemble it uh, up at the front of the car. For those that haven't figured it out already, this is an engine stand as it says right on the label. It allows you to uh, bolt on to the back of the engine. It's a little dark in here. And uh, it'll uh, suspend the engine block so that it's on casters and it can be moved around the workshop at your convenience which is uh, significantly improved on uh, what I have right now. Sitting on a wooden pallet here, the engine is virtually immovable. Well, I suppose if you get a strong back, you can wrestle it around, but really, for me, I'm limited to uh, lifting it up and down with the chain hoist here and swinging it back and forth from side to side to get it out of my way. So, if I can get it up on this engine hoist, I'll have the option to roll it around out of the way and uh, swivel the engine upside down to work on the crankshaft or flip it over to work on the top end. Yeah, it's the same old flathead Mercury V8 I started working on here back in December. Still hopelessly seized up. I've removed one uh, connecting rod bearing. I'm thinking I'm going to have to remove all of them and lift the crankshaft and try to loosen up each piston individually because with eight pistons locked up solid there's just not much hope of getting any movement and I don't want to hammer it and beat it to death because these are a fairly valuable collector's engine. The Mercury 8BA so we don't want to damage anything on it. Uh, so I will get busy and put this thing together. I'll probably have to run this in fast forward when we do the editing because uh, I'm a little slow putting things together, especially when it's cold. 
at uh, what is it here today oh we're up at 10 degrees Fahrenheit I could almost work without my mitts today wow second of April okay let's try it the right way this time that can be tightened up later Okay, now we just got to line up the engine. I guess first things first, we get that engine block up in the air. Okay, we're rolling again. This thing is threatening to shut down on me for some reason. Anyway, as I was saying, the... Uh, threads in the bell housing are a little sticky so rather than damage something I'm going to run the uh, tap through the 716 national course a little bit of oil and 